All right, hello everyone. I'm Unique Active, and today I'm just quickly going to show you how to install textures using Mass Effect Modder in the advanced mode. So, just to demonstrate, I'm going to install these high resolution Caden alternate from Ashes Armor textures by Otomus. So, what I'm going to do is just download this texture file, save it somewhere convenient. Just miscellaneous, that should be fine. That's gonna download. And while that's downloading, we are going to get the newest version of Mass Effect Modder. So, um, yeah, if you use a lot for Mass Effect 3, it will be listed here in the download section, I think. Come on, where is it? Oh, it's not there, that's awkward, okay. So we're just going to go to the GitHub page. Newest version is 1.108. So we just click on Mass Effect Modder v something something dot zip. Save that. I'm just going to save it to the same place. So now we have these two zip files. I'm just going to extract both of those. And there we have them. So here we have the Mass Effect Modder. Um, depending on where you have your game located, you either want to run it as administrator, if you have it on your C drive, which I do, uh, or just run it normally if you don't have that. So yeah, just open that up. And then... Oh, what a mess this is. Yeah, I don't have very much time for this video, because I'm in the middle of my final exams. Um, all right, yeah, nope, that's the wrong one. What am I doing? Okay, here they are. So now with this mod, we get a TPF file. Obviously, if you download a lot for Mass Effect 3, then you will already have the two .mem files, which are the native format. So just to demonstrate you how this can work, I'm going to convert this TPF file to an .mem file. So we're just going to go into the texture manager Right, I already have my tree created. If you're doing this for the first time, you're gonna have to uh, create a tree so it will scan all your game files and so on. Um, right, so right up here in the mod section, we click on convert.modtpf to .mem. So it can take uh, both tpf or .mod files well, if they don't require auto-fixing, as far as I'm aware. I'm not sure if that's changed by now, but uh, that's how it was the last time I checked. So, we're just going to click on the wrong thing. Right. So, this is the texture that we want to convert. And we're just going to, going to save that as new.mem. And it's going to generate this new.mem file. So, if you now have your .mem file, you just converted it, or you downloaded a different .mem file, for example, from uh, Mass Effect 3 a lot, then you just click on Load Mods. And here, for example, if you're using a lot, then it will be in the a lot folder right here. But just for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to Take the one we just created, click on open. Of course, before you change anything about your files, back up your game. That's very important. Because if something breaks, which I don't think it will, but it may, um, then you could just revert it to the previous state. All right, so now we can click on this new.mem that we just uh, imported. And we have these textures here. We have the specular map, and the diff map, so that's uh, like the base texture. Then what we have to do is just right click, click on apply mods, and there we go. Took just one second to uh, to apply this text, uh, this texture. But now, very important, what you have to do is two things. First, update LOD settings, because sometimes if like depending on what you do depending on what textures you install, 
uh, you will have to update the LOD settings, otherwise you're going to get glitches all over the place, so you don't want that. Um, and you will also want to optimize the game's INI settings. So that's just going to make your game run a bit better or make it a bit prettier. Uh, I'm not sure what the settings currently do. So yeah, and that's it actually. So now you have added this texture to your game. Um, right, if you have any requests for any future content, leave it in the comments. Um, I'm sorry for this little rushed video. I would do it with nicer editing in the future, but uh, I'm not sure if I want to spend too much more time on Mass Effect 3, uh, especially now that I'm quite busy. So yeah, you can leave it in the comments and I'll see if I can if I can put it into a quick video. Right, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. That was a weird end. What the fuck am I doing?